Hello everyone, Bballer13s down here, and welcome to your fourth Roblox scripting tutorial. At least I think it's four. If I'm wrong, you'll see the name of it over at the top of the YouTube video. Okay, so in past tutorials, you've learned the basic things. In the last tutorial, you learned how to use a while true do statement, or not statement, sorry, loop, and that so far will be the most useful thing you've learned. Well, today I'm going to change that, okay? We are going to learn how to work with variables. They're much like locals and naming and things, but... They hold a value or a string, which we covered before, rather than holding a, a path to a, another item in the works in the explorer. So today we're going to have local val one equals seven, and local val2 equals 8 and local val3 equals 15 okay so now let's put these to work val1 if a while val1 plus val2 equal val3 do so basically, while 7 plus 8 equal 15, do. This should execute the exact same script we had in our previous lesson. I'm going to make a quick play solo here. Hope it loads fast for y'all. That way I don't have to edit it out. And the while true do, I did actually edit out about... I think it was six minutes of this test loading. So that was pretty chaotic there. Alright. Looks like it's loading a little faster today, so I don't think I'll be editing it out. At least I hope not. So no it doesn't appear as if I will. Now just my character is loading, my awesome epic character, and look at that, exact same thing. Now we're just going to keep that open and hope I can figure out how to do this. Alright, or at least remember how. Now, you know how values can hold it, just the local, which means nickname, val1 equals, it means the nickname for it and then whatever val1 holds. Now, you can name your values whatever you want. I'm just naming them vals. And then their number, so that's easy to remember. Now let's do this. val1 equals val1 plus 1. val2 equals val2 plus 1. And val3 equals val3 plus 2. Okay, so what we did here is val1, we're changing its value. We are going to place it, and, we, and then val1, which is the current value of val1, before we do this, plus 1. So we're just adding 1 to val1. Same with 2, but with val3, we're adding 2 because each of these are getting an added 1. So that way it never returns false. Okay, so let's go in here, just copy this whole script, and paste it here, copy, delete it, and then paste the new one in workspace, and let's hope it still works. It does. Okay, now I don't have to load a new test every time. That's good. Alright, so 
I know some of you guys are asking, okay, why can't you just put your vowels inside the while loop? Here's, I'll show you why. I'll just do it in the test. I'll show you what happens when we do that. And you'll see why we don't do it. And then I'll explain why. Cut. That was supposed to cut you, but it didn't, so we'll have to paste it. That's why. Breaks the script. And if it doesn't break the script and you get by without a hitch, you've got another issue of every time the while loop restarts, it's making the values equal that again. Plus, our while loop, if you read, depends on these values. So they need to be before this, okay? Now let's just get rid of those tabs to make this look cleaner here. Or at least I think it'll look cleaner. Copy, delete, paste. And now our script is back to working. Okay. But as I said earlier, they can also hold string values. So let's work with that real fast and see what happens. We're going to have B ball for val1 and 13sn for val2. Wait, we need to remove all of this. And then, oh, wait, bball, er, forgot my own username partially. bball or 13sn. So, now we can't work with this because that's a number, th number thing. So let's change it to, uh, for a string version, val1 dot dot val2. When you do this, it combines it into one string, and this is a process called concatenation, or concatenation, or however you choose to pronounce it. Now, I've never actually tried using strings to test if it works for a while loop. I'm doing that here, though, just so we both, so we all learn. Okay, so I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to delete it, and I'll paste it back, and hey, it actually works. Yeah, I was actually kind of worried it wouldn't, and then I'd make a fool of myself again, but it did. So, let's recap our concate nation real fast, so I can show you. Firstly, val1 and val2 are up here as bball and er13sn. Then val3 is bballer13sn. Okay, so val1 dot dot, that is a concate nation operator. It combines two strings together to form one. And then val3 is already the concated form of val1 and val2 together, okay? So I'm going to copy this and paste it into our main one but first. Alright, so there we go. And I failed at copying it. There we go. Okay, well, that's it for today. Bye.